Hello, welcome to my channel, and we're looking into the disappearance of Russell John Olmsted. He was only 24 years old. He went missing from Ells Ellisford, Washington, and he was 5'10 to 6'10 tall, 140 to 150. There's no photos of him here. I couldn't find any online. It says that his mother gave him a ride to the Don Bensing farm, and he was supposed to be staying in a picker's cabin on the farm. He had a job there, I guess. She never saw him again after she dropped him off. Uh, he had long brown hair and a ponytail and brown eyes and no facial hair. So, no telling what happened to him. And so I'm looking into Canada, and there's, because it's right on the border of Canada, there's, there was a John Doe found July 18, 1999, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. He was not recognizable, and it's a long ways into Canada. It's like 10 hours, I think, or more. He was 5 foot 8 to 5 foot 10, white or Native American. And the remains were found in a burnt-out garage. And there was a blanket and pillow found with him, and I thought that was interesting. And they thought maybe he might have lived at the residence. But I thought, wow, I bet he had a blanket and a pillow with him or a sleeping bag or something. And then there's this John Doe, I figured, since I was mentioning the other one in Edmonton, I've mentioned this one too, but this one says was only five foot six and 117 pounds. They don't know when this person died, and they were found in the river. So, and then there was this one in Hinton, Canada, um, 20 to 55 years old, skull only, and so. It says the family turned it in. They believe their late father received the school as a gag gift, so they don't know where it came from. So we don't know who it is. Um, and I just wanted you to see how this is so close to the border of Canada, and there's Idaho right there. So I don't know. Like I said, even Hinton is nine hours, and there's Edmonton. So I don't know. What might have happened to the young man? And then there is this one is Everett, Washington. It wasn't found till 2020, 22 to 43 years old. So uh, it gives a county. It says it was skeletal remains. I don't see a date of death for them. So I don't know. Oh, 1989 to 2019. That's a long time. I don't think that would be him. I don't know why. So then there is... If I can get the tabs open, I've got so many tabs. This one was North Bend, Washington, 18 to 99 years old. They can't, uh, 1977 to 2006, but it's estimated 10 years, so that would be more like 19, yeah, 1997, and he went missing, 1998, so this one might be him. Cause of death unknown, top portion of skull only found by a hiker. They don't, yeah. So I'm not sure where North Bend, Washington is compared to where he is. I'm going to move this on the other side. North Bend, Washington. Oh, yeah, no, that's a long ways. That's four hours, so maybe, I don't know. That went over two. We'll see what this one is. Like I said, I have no idea what happened to his remains or if anybody has. King County, Washington, 20 to 35 years old. Nineteen 
one or more lint, partial skeleton remains. And he was late 1998, so he could have been. Where is King County at? That's four hours away, too. I don't know. Let's see what else we have. Spokane, Washington. So, 18 to 99. They don't really have an estimated date of death up to 1999 at any time. The foot was discovered in the water by an underwater diver. It was determined to be a left foot. It's possibly a female foot. There was a sock. The foot measured eight inches. Wow, that's crazy. That wasn't far. Divers. So thankful for divers. Um, this one, this one was found the day after he went missing. So I don't think it would be him, but I wanted to add this one in. I'm probably going to do a YouTube video separate one for this one because this one went missing. They found this one the day after. Ages 20 to 40 years old, 6 foot 2, estimated. Um, estimated date of death 1998. So, body found in water, but brown hair. Um, the eyes were still intact because it said eyes set back, unable to get color, but they're still intact. So I, I think this would have been a recent death. Uh, blue drawstring pouch with a compass, a red Swiss, Swiss army knife, standard circle with keys. One has initials GG on it. So wearing layered clothing, corner has description. Pewter ring with multiple turquoise stones on the body. So that one I thought was really interested. Just because it was so interesting, I thought I would leave this one in there. Because I don't know if that could be him or how long they were dead. But So there's some John Doe's. And I don't know if any of them would be him. I thought, eh, I'll do a search and see what I can find. So anyway, don't forget to pray for his loved ones and his families and all these John Doe's and the investigators trying to solve these cases and the divers that are so helpful and wonderful. And thank you so much for tuning in. Please feel free to leave comments. Have a great day. Bye-bye.